Hello and welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. Alon Paul here with, I think this is episode 12. I'm losing track of the numbers. It's the next episode in the series. And we are going to be continuing with the Apollo missions, the Apollo and Artemis missions, and uh, seeing we, what more we can do. I'm going to hold off on doing any more base missions, but I think we're pretty much all set until we go back to the Overseer and we'll, we'll be getting an Exocraft dude. We'll worry about that later. So let's go ahead and get a couple of the Apollo and Artemis missions done, and we need to go to a new system, it says. So, because I accidentally accepted the Apollo uh, communication the other day, and unfortunately I was in a different system, so we're going to have to head there. Over there. There it is. Now this system is really cool. This is where my dissonant system is, uh, the planet, where I created a small base next to a Sentinel Pillar, which is really, really handy. It's like getting Pugnium and upgrades for free. It's awesome. I mean, I remember the um, multi-tool that was in it wasn't really good, though. Okay, here we are. Okay, it's directing us to this planet right there. I believe this be a cold planet, if I remember correctly. Yes, yeah, space computer, I know you have archives available. We'll worry about it later. Thank you. Yep, Arctic it is. High Sentinel activity. They're not aggressive, though, so that's good. Okay, far side of the planet to boot. Okay. We have an abandoned building we're entering. Oh, it's an approximate location we need to scan. That might be it. Check. It's a building and there is no landing pad. That usually means abandoned. So let's go ahead and land here. Now, I've never been to this planet before. You know what this means, don't you? Need to get a look at animals. So, we'll be checking them out when I get out of here. Let's go ahead and head in. Again, we're going to ignore the, whisp the whispering eggs for now. Always pan around, look for anything, any tendrils hanging that might attack you. Alright, so since we're in here, we'll take a look around with this damaged machinery. We might as well grab whatever's in there. By just nanites. Oh. Supplies. Uh, we got a nice lantern down there. Let's go ahead and get some words. Encyclopedia, there we go. Okay. Computer terminal. Get rid of the goop. Returning user identified. Terminal now active. Unlocking data log. Continuation for analysis. I awoke from a dream where I was drowning in something thick and glut glutinous. I f it filled my pores and suffocated me. I want to believe that this is my tired mind playing tricks. It has been so long without deep sleep. The crimson sphere shimmers at the corner of my eye whenever I try to rest. I cannot comprehend how it tracks my spore from world to world. Or is it that I am following it? The orb cannot be in all places at once. That cannot be. Analyze the data log. I discover something coded deep within, deep inside the long dead traveler's data log. Something has been left that will aid me on my journey. And a bunch of nanites is what we get out of that. Okay. <clears throat> So the next thing we need to do is locate a multi-tool technology merchant. So we need to go up to the space station. Hello, creature. How many we got? Eight. What is that? Floating crystal. That's worth something, but I'm not going. Any flying creatures? Wow, okay, this is kind of weird. We only have one creature that showed up. Ground, ground, ground. Flying, flying. Underground, underground. Yeah, the underground ones are going to be tough to find. I'm going to actually... I know. Shock of shocks. I'm going to go ahead and leave the planet. not going to try to discover all of them this time. Alright. Head out. Over to yonder space station. There we go. As soon as we get here, we'll get some tools.
And here we go. Okay, an interesting space station. Not sure if I've been in this one yet. Nice reddish color and tinge to it. Very cool. Empire feeling. So it wants us to get an upgrade. We have to purchase an upgrade. Hopefully there's something in there I can use. Otherwise it's, I'm just going to get a C-Class upgrade just to get by. Alright, what do you got? Oh, he just gives me one. It's an A-Class Boltcaster module. That's pretty good. And But while we're here, will I able to trade with him more? Sell. Okay, let's get rid of the life support scanner. Plasma launcher. Hyperdrive. The underwater protection. Um, the three A-class infra knife ones I'm going to get rid of too. And I honestly want to get rid of the Bullcaster module. But let me just hang on to it for now. Let's see if our... Story upgraded. I, need to, I have to contact Apollo. So I don't have to install it. Okay. Let's sell it. So it's out of my inventory. I don't need it. Do you have anything I can use? A scatter blaster module? That's it. So, Claft, did, did we ever hit this one? Yeah, we did. So it means I've been here before. Strange. No deja vu this time. Water. Which we got? Thermal. Oh, the hot thermal. Yeah, buddy. I'll grab that. I haven't gotten one of those yet. I gotta take the last one. Radiation toxic got shield. And I got the cold thermal, which I've already got. Okay. We're good. So we can uninstall this one. Install this one. Excellent. Okay, so we have a really good class one. And the tools, if I'm not mistaken, weren't really that great. Yeah, not really. Sometimes you can get stuff out of those. You gotta keep your eyes open. You? C-Class. Nothing special. Okay, good. Alright. So we are done here. Let's go out to space and contact Apollo like it tells us to. I also call these Raptor Class, not just Swing Wing. Dissonance detected, huh? Really? Oh, that's where my base is. Ah. Uh, I think, right? Yeah, there it is. It's on that planet. That's hilarious. Okay, uh, let's contact Apollo. You are not alone. I know you, Traveler. I know where you've been. I know where you're going. There is no need to hurry. Ask who they are. No. You will find us when the time is right. That's what it says. You know who that is. Oh, there it is. Are you ready? Make sure you are. This job isn't going to be a small one. You might not be heading back to that base of yours for a while. We'll confirm. Good. Let the hunt begin. I've detected a Corvax installation on that world of yours. The interference in your transmissions is a giveaway. It might be disguised in the style of another species, but don't be fooled. The synthetics delight in espionage. Cough. I'm not robotic. I was born just like you were, but this is no world for flesh. My brain, what organs I have left, everything was transferred to this shell. This is who I am. Ask how this happened. I took my revenge when the time came. That is all, that is all you need to know. So... Start from the hypothesis that the Sentinels use these portals to get around. How do they activate it? We need to observe. We need to summon them. And what better way than to attack a secret Corvax factory? They are both robotic life forms. Too much in common. Too much coincidence. Enter the factory and hack the terminal within. If we gain data about the Sentinels, good. If not, we'll have summoned enough of them to trace any energy spikes on that world of yours. The portals will be ours in no time. Download the location. Apollo nods at me. For the first time, I sense respect in their gesture. The approximate coordinates for the hidden facility are logged to my Starship's navigation computer. Okay, so it's going to stay in the system we're in. I wish we were in our own home system, but that's okay. That's 
because a ship popped up in the middle of our ability to hyper uh, pulse jump to that location. Love when they do that. So this planet is foggy. Except that's the planet over there for some reason, not the planet I'm heading to. Yeah. Coming in. See what we got. Seems that there's a facility here. Let's go ahead and land. One thing you look for is you look for sentinels floating around, and I don't see any. Oh, um, yeah, I don't see one anywhere at all. Hi there, buddy. So to get in, we have to use our bolt caster. Ready? In we go. All right. Oh, well, while we're here. I don't mind if I do. Okay, terminal. Let's see what we can do here. Hopefully we get this right. Oh, uh, let's see. Sodium. Pure ferrite. Chromatic metal. Good thing we carried that with us. The terminal houses an upgrade module for my exosuit. However, I find few clues for Apollo. It seems the Corvax within left this world so many days ago. Apparently recalled on a priority transmission to their species flotilla. Something has them worried. Probe the factory logs? This place seems to have been more than just a factory. It was a home to the Corvax who lived within its walls. It appears that they were experimenting with autonomy from their collective. Examine video feeds? One of their internal sensors recorded movement within the facility. It shows me footage of the vents at my feet. There is something in here with me. Shine a light. I shine a light on it. It is a small hairy creature shaking and afraid. It cries out. The animal appears to have lived here for quite some time. There is a nest in the corner, vestiges of food upon a small dish, even a few clumsy toys and trinkets. The animal seems to have been a companion to the Corvax. My scanner tells me that the creature is gravely ill. It will die no matter what intervention occurs. We're going to euthanize the animal. I usually feed it, but I find you get a different thing with euthanizing. As the creature looks mournfully up at me, I fire a single charge of my multi-tool. It shivers no more. It's suffering is at an end. I move on from the factory complex. It ends up dying when you do anything with it, so... Why am I getting... Supposedly, they're still wanting to attack me. Oh, it says they're searching now. Fascinating. Report the abandoned facility to Apollo. Return to space to make contact. If we return to space right now, we're going to be attacked by the Sentinels. Not just the ones on the ground. If we jump in our ship, they'll try to attract us in the air. Now, the funny part is, is it's doing a 30-second rundown here, which is really, really odd. Because it usually means that I have hurt them in some way. Dude, you're just pissing me off. Cut it out. Stop. Not your buddy. Now they're deactivated. Let's try this again. Hi, guys. Good boy. my ship. It's over here, isn't it? There you are. On our way. Good deal. So let's head out. Not in the mood for another Sentinel battle right at this time. Okay. Hollow. Good work. Your attack on that factory paid off. Did you get any useful data? No. No matter, we have just what we need. We have what we need. I recorded countless signal flares when the Sentinel started to appear. Energy streams sparked beneath the planet's surface, moving from monolith to monolith. We must be on the right track. Examine these structures. They are all linked. I know it. I'll tune your scanner to the Sentinel energy signals. We shall soon have our prey. Whew. Good luck. I'll speak to you on the other side. All right. So we want to do Nada real quick. So this will give us more Quicksilver. So I am going to go ahead and do that. I 
thing is, is I've got a ton of Quicksilver already because I've been doing missions like crazy. Oh, I forgot to put you guys away. Huh? Hmm, Larval Core. How interesting. Yeah. Just going through this real quick to see what in here I need and don't need. I'm going to put this back. Put you over there. Actually, back over here because I want to take these. When I get back home, put them in storage. I don't need them. All right. Nada, da, da, da. We're going to hit nada. Nada, da. Hey, buddy. Let's tell me something of nothing. What new knowledge, Traveler? Is Apollo Entity known to you? Explain Apollo's plan. A Traveler Entity that is not known to Nada, yet they know Artemis Entity, who themselves no longer recalls Nada. You bring news that alarms Nada. What else does our home fail to see? Nada looks troubled. They retreat into themselves. Ask what to do. Polo friend has kept us safe. Nada's carapace has been Nada's, and Nada's only, for many years, outside the cycle of data. We help others escape those who might possess our reality. Nada has peace here. Those who hunt us cannot see us. Nada does not want it to end. But better to understand, to know what comes for us. Do not stop on our account. Okay, there's our 80 nanites and 150 quicksilver. Polo? Nada is alarmed by Apollo friend. I am not. It's exciting to see where our model fails. If we are wrong, then there are more friends than we realized. More friends and more stars. So let's ask about the Sentinels, because that's what we're working on. Novel Apollo allies himself with the Viking, enjoys to hunt the Sentinels. Good, but it will not work. They will always come. It is beyond us to change. Everywhere our home has been, the hunters will follow. Very interesting thought, huh? All right, we need nothing else from here, so let's go ahead and exit. Make sure we have a leap in the dark selected. Okay. And move on. Off we go. Continue with Apollo's plan. Search for the source of the Sentinel Energy Trace. Return to space to begin the search. Okay, let's search. We do a quick scan. Deep in the dark. Let's scan again because it didn't register. Ley line. Link detected on this planet. Let's head there. All right. So this is the dissonant world that I have my little base set up on. There we go, turn myself over. So it says approximate location, so let's just drop in a little bit early, of course, and then scan. Nothing yet. Scan. There it is, there it is, right there. Now, if I'm not mistaken, it looks like we are probably going to get to a battle here. So, let's see what we got. Blah, 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 that I don't understand. I don't know what to expect as I approach the structure. An army of sentinels? Perhaps some gateway through which I'll find Artemis? But in the shifting structure of this monolith, I can feel something else. A story, a vision. It is already burning itself into my eyes. Activate. The Traveler. Arrival. The Traveler woke beneath the shadow of a red star. Through the lonely cosmos they fled, yearning for purpose and meaning. They found an anomaly, an aberration, a door to the heavens. No Gek, no Viking, no Corvax could see it. Only the Traveler could perceive the portal, though they did not know how to step through. They did not know the secret language, the glyphs. They did not yet grasp the price of the final truth. Witness Glyphs. I am filled with the knowledge of an ancient traveler. I see glyphs in my mind, part of the code I need to activate a portal. As I depart, I spot a sentinel drone in the distance. It moves away quickly. Here we go. Escape or destroy the sentinels. I'm like 
moving in different directions. Ah, you guys. It is the corrupted ones. Where's number three? So I'm going to get on top of my ship over here. It looks like we got a mirror in the distance and bigger. Just in time. Got them both. Got them both. Multiply. Got this guy right here. What do we need to multiply for? Just keep taking them. Oh, yeah. They're going to keep healing, so you want to take out the other guys while you're at it. Little guys are starting out on me now. Got him. Got him. These little guys are pretty nasty, aren't they? Good deal. Anything else? There's somebody else out here that I don't know about? Yep, he's over here. I think he's under my ship. Alright, where is that? There he is. Go over here. No harm in getting him. I got an inverted mirror. Good. Okay, that's fine. Where'd he go? Are there any... Oh, there is some combat supplies over here. So we can go through all five stages if we want here. The corrupted sentinels are harder to take out. Especially the spider guys, they take a lot of damage. Who's shooting me? Oh, you. You had gone invisible on me. Got a little guy over here someplace. Anybody else? Okay, we got some supplies out there. Let's go get it. I think there's another one over here. There's the other one. More over here. Not seeing any. Oh, yeah, we got some right in front of me. These are very valuable, so grab them while you can. I don't see... They must be over here someplace. Oh, hello. Ow. Yeah, he knocked me into next week, didn't he? That's why I stay up high. Don't get on top of a rock, though. Because the rocks, they can climb, as you can see. There's another one gone. Who's next? If you're on the ground, I'm going to get that little red exclamation point up there. They are ready to blow up. That hurts. And this guy will charge, too. 
Okay. Is that four? We got one more. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is great. Got it. Any more over here? No. I think we got everything. Where's the rest of them? Watch for red symbols on your display. There's one over here, somewhere. But I don't see him. Is he under me? No? See how the red symbol appears on the left side of my screen? He's over here someplace. That's him right there. There he is. Got him. Alright. Swarm is hunting. I don't know why. Because there's no one around anymore. So I'm not going to get to level 5. But we're just going to go ahead and let it end out. Level 5 would have been... Oh, wait. wait there's someone over there. There he is. Yeah, I want to take him out because I want to get to level 5. Level 5 gets me an echolocator. Or a ship, I think. There we go, multiplying. That's what I'm looking for. So we're going to go ahead and do this. Why not? One down. See, yeah, I can do it too, buddy. Who's out there? Come on. Come get some. Don't put that up in my presence, my friend. Got him. Another one gone. I get this last stage, we're in good shape. Who's shooting me? You. Anybody else? There's one over there. Anybody else around me? So there's two of them. There's one over here. Slowly waking his way over here, and there's another one over here. Just clearing the ground here because... There we go. Come on out, buddy. There's another one over there someplace. So they're actually both close by now, finally. Where? There he is. Got one. Where's the other one? Right there. Should be it. Oh, no, one more. No? Yeah, we got it. Tell you, best way to do that is from the top of your ship. You're going to take damage, but just go ahead and do it.
Okay. So ignore the sentinel that's in the distance here. Sentinel forces are shut down at the moment. So we're going to head over there real quick. Did we? Yeah, we did it. We did it. That's right. So we need to detect another ley line. Let's go ahead and get to this ship because I'm very curious to what it is. It's going to be similar to the one we've got because that's the type of ships that are on this planet. But I have yet to find a an S-class. I've got an A-class ships, B-class, and C-class. I have yet to find an S. So if we get one out of there, that'll be great. But I'm going to take it anyway because it's worth a lot of money. 16 million units to 30... 35 million sometimes, so we'll see how that goes. Okay, so now we got the items from the ship. It's a B class, and it is definitely worth my time because it'll be worth quite a bit of money. Uh, ooh, Walker Brains. Very nice. Okay, we'll take those. So we just need to jump in here. And we need to get the brain. And it should tell us of another spot. There it is over here. Usually close by. You notice it didn't actually interfere with our mission. Always grab the words while you're here. There's three of them. It helps you later on down the road. The more words you know when you come to these things and you go through the quests that are involved with them, you'll be able to understand more and more of the language. But in this case, I'm not even going to bother with this. This is just the normal stuff you get when you're presenting the brain and turning it into a better brain. Not an abnormal brain. Hope you know the reference. Now we're going to go back, and we're just going to take the ship. Okay, get there just a little bit quicker by boosting our engines, and that way we're not wasting a whole lot of time doing this. Okay. Here that. It'll show us what we've got. It looks like it's got a phase beam on it, but nothing else of import. It's got two nice upgrade slots right here, though. Something to keep in mind. Alright, so we're going to claim it, but we're just going to go ahead and take our... We don't need to do anything there. We just need to jump on our other ship. Alright, we're done. So now, leap in the dark. Let's go ahead and get going. We're going to hit the C button again. Tracing to source. And it's over there to the right. I just want to see what this building was. It looks like a campground. How far out? 25 seconds? Yeah, we can get there. Rather than going out into space, it's by the time we get up there, boost, and come back down, it'll take us about the same amount of time, so... Slow down, slow down. Alright, there we go. And plop. Okay, great. Drop down. Got some more words. There's always two here. Uh, blah, 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 blah. As I approach the structure, I feel that same burning sensation in my eyes. There's nothing to read, and yet I am more aware of these words than anything I've ever known. Activate. The Traveler. Sin. The 
traveler found a way, they always did. The first drone screened when it was cut open. Within the shattered memories of Sentinels, the traveler found the glyphs they needed. They passed through the gateway, emerging before the face of omnipotence. The traveler asked the Atlas how many worlds were left to visit. They had seen so many in their life. They did not wish to die before they saw them all, and the Atlas answered. Eighteen, and if I remember correctly, hold on, hundred million, hundred thousand million, billion, trillion, quadrillion, quintillion. So it's eighteen quintillion planets. Um, the in this interesting thing here is, and more than, let's finish this, more than could be seen in any lifetime, it was impossible to explore the universe before the Traveler died. I want you to keep in mind this whole storyline that we're learning secondhand is regarding the character Null that we're going to meet later on. So I'll let that bomb drop. You've seen this through yourself probably by now, this whole run through. Uh, you've been through all the things. You understand now that this is about Null, the original traveler. So witness the glyphs. I am filled with the knowledge of an ancient traveler. I see the glyphs in my mind, another piece of the code. I think of the Atlas. I have encountered this name many times in my travels. Yet its true nature still eludes me. The vision fills me with fear. Okay. This time we're not fighting anybody. Okay. This time we're done. Moving on. One more time. Up. Scan. This way. How far away? Right here. Monolith. Go figure. Exit. One. Two. And three. All right. Up we go. Everything here is tinted with that same red, the same unobservable crimson that fills my vision when I blink. I can only hope this structure holds the final glyphs, that my trial at these ruins is nearly over. The Traveler. A purpose. The Atlas told the Traveler they were the first of their kind, that a multitude would follow. Each, were, each would be endowed with the same noble soul, each able to travel from planet to planet in eternal solitude. The first traveler rejected the gift of the Atlas. This was not what they hoped for. What was the purpose of infinity if you could not see it all? If you were alone? If you would one day die? The first traveler cursed the Atlas and claimed that they would find a way to survive no matter the cost. All of these worlds, all of time itself, it would be for the travelers to witness. Witness the glyphs. I am filled with the knowledge of an ancient traveler. I see the final glyphs in my mind. The final portion of the code. Okay. So, we got to locate and activate a portal. Now, keeping in mind that Null was basically being very selfish here. He just wanted it all for himself, and he didn't care about anybody else. So, keep that in mind. The fact is, all of you here watching this video that have played No Man's Sky, every one of the players out there that play No Man's Sky, it fits into the storyline that we're all travelers. So, it involves us directly, if you will. This one is on another planet. There we go. Tally ho. It's on the Arctic planet. No, I did not know it was there. Just recharging my launch thrusters. All right. It's the source, and it is a direct connection. It, we don't have to look for this. It's right in front of us. So there is our portal. Let's come in a little low and park. Right next to it. Plop. Alright, good deal. Here we are. So now we have to unlock the portal or do we go through? Now this is the interesting part. This one I think bounces us into space. So we're going to have a nice good long time of this one. Alright, let me just grab something here real quick before we continue. Uh, let me see. Yeah. 
get my cursor out of the way. Come on, move it. Thank you. Okay, there we go. We're back. Breach, breach, breach. I approach the portal. I think of every passing thought and idle wish that led me to this moment. Within this gateway, I might find Artemis. I might find the source of the Sentinels. I might find a whole new universe. But it is more than this. This is not fate. I'm making a choice. A leap of faith that somewhere out there in the dark, I will find who I'm meant to be. I put the glyphs. I step forward, not knowing what I will find on the other side, but I feel it deep in my heart. The call towards a deeper truth. This will be the start of everything. Indeed. Wham. That looks familiar, doesn't it? Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to enter the portal for the first time. Now, like I said, I'm pretty sure you end up in space on this one, so I may be taking some screenshots. Any time now, it's really thinking about where it wants to put me. Nope. Okay, so we're on a planet. You'll notice that there's no ship in sight. So, good idea to check this out real quick. Take care of the anomalous animal. And we're going to get booted off this planet real quick. Right, here we go. See? Breach, breach, breach. Warning anomalous to signal detected. Atlas protocol initiated. Ah! What is going on? Ooh. Ooh, get that. Before they take me. Got it. Ha ha ha! Bubble cluster. We can put that in our base. And here we are. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Atlas. Yay! Let's go ahead and... we got to do something here. Hey! Hey! We did it! Okay, good. Enough of that crap. Bah. <laughs> is our ship here? Nope, our ship isn't here. It's going to kick us out of here and onto a planet. Alright, so one thing we can do... We search these, we will get some warp cells. Those are handy. I'm not sure if we can even use them on our ship, but... Uh, oh, what do we got? Weapon shard. You know I'm going to do it. Is it a good one? Plus 8 fire rate. That's pretty good. What do we got? Plus 1 damage, 8 fire rate. Yeah, I don't have any damage on this one. So... Minus 2 and plus 9. So it's actually worse. Bye. Okay. I'm going to take a look at everything here. I don't know if it's going to damage everything we've got. Starship out of range. No, sh no, sh no, no kidding. <laughs> All right, let's go in and talk to the Atlas. The text blinks before me. It awaits input. Interesting, it's like a computer, right? Ask who this is. Hello, world, the Atlas says. An audio recording plays, echoing out across the vast interface. We were once travelers. We, were, we once aspired to more than dirt and dust. The audio clicks. Time passes. Show me a world, Atlas. Show me something no one has ever seen before. The voice ends. The interface grows silent. Still and silent. It awaits a command. We're going to perform a diagnostic. I'm not going to wipe the system this time. I did that last time. I didn't like it. It has been... Wow. Okay. One trillion nine hundred forty-six billion. 218,921,221 years since the last diagnostic. 64% of worlds operating within expected parameters. We're on one of the 1% that aren't, just to be clear. Moving on. 
2,611,384 actionable obser observations awaiting analysis. Subroutine, Sentinel. Status, Error, Null Value. Subroutine, Glass. Ooh. Status, Operational, 4,182 breach attempts. Yes, the Glass, the Void Mother. Let's keep that in mind. Subroutine, Traveler. Status, Operational. 458 critical error warnings. Exo mind, structural integrity compromised. In immediate repairs required. Initiate personality interface? Yes or no? Yes, definitely. Traveler. Reality fades, everything does. My body, my voice, my soul, all of it speaks to me. The Atlas stands before me in all its might. I want to ask about Artemis. I want to find them, but something is happening to me. I need to get out of here. I need to... I got three choices. Scream, rejoice, and submit. I'm going to submit. I try to submit, but it's too late for that. Far too late. I have belonged to this creature my entire life. And... Bye! Kick me out. Go ahead. So where do I end up? Do I end up on a planet or out in space? I don't remember which one it is. don't remember. Once we get back to uh, reality and everything like that, this is probably be the end of the episode, but curious as to where I end up. Space? I think it boots me out into space. And then it puts me on a planet, but I could be wrong. Maybe it'll just be a planet. Glad I got that, that, uh, glitch, though. Restore point saved. Okay, so we're on a planet. Rehunt 12. Ship ship that way. Not bad. Are we okay? We're okay. Nothing damaged. Shall we? Let's go for a walk. Really? 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 Take that. Just got here and you slapped me. Ama amazing. Ooh, words. Oh, we have a creature that wants to attack me. Where is he? Watch this. <laughs> See? Make him happy. They won't attack you. Now, if it was one of the dinosaur-style creatures, yeah, I would have went ahead and just take him as a pet. Ah, here we are. Welcome back. Let's do the usual. Technology. Let's get our damaged machinery. Get some nanites out of it. Uh, let's see. Check the cases. Hey, what do we get? Life support shell, okay. Good, good, good. Hit the ball. I'm not going to broadcast this time. Boundary separation failure likely. Vessel emptied cause deliberate transfer, sentinel intervention. Okay, analysis. Fresh iteration generated, anomaly containment prepared. We're just going to leave. Traveler anomaly, anomaly detected. Anomaly refused registration. Position logged. System integrity scan initialized. <laughs> refused. Okay. Oxygen taken. Beautiful. Over to the ship. Let's see what kind of condition it's in, but let's wait. I escaped to my ship, glad of something familiar in this strange world. Where is the portal taking me? I was caught in the gravity of that infernal machine, not strong enough to resist. It identified itself as Atlas, the entity so many worship and fear. I saw no sign of Artemis, no, sign, no trace of the Sentinels. Why did I even step through the gateway? Through that gateway. Why did I follow this path? So, three choices. To rescue Artemis, to kill Sentinels, because I can. I think it's just simply because I can. I want to rescue Artemis, don't get me wrong. We obviously want to try to do that. That's the whole point. Yes, we want to kill Sentinels. I mean, that's the whole point behind why Apollo is joining up with us. But it's simply because I can. 
I tell myself that I do all, I, all this because I can, that I do not really care about Artemis or, the Sent or about Sentinels. Perhaps this is true. Perhaps I need no higher purpose. As I stare at the console, an opportunity presents itself once more. There's an inbound transmission emerging from a location on this very planet. You are not alone. The signal appears to be coming from this very system, using the same words that led me to Artemis not so long ago. Oh, so long ago. Could it be them? Did Artemis meet the Atlas as I have? In the transmission. And it's going to tell me where it is. That way. Okay, before we go, let me just move some stuff over. So that we're going to put in there. Okay, good. We'll keep the rest because we're going to be storing that someplace. How far away are you, sir? Not far at all. You know, I didn't check to see if we discovered any of the animals on this planet. Do we even know where we are? Ten. We haven't discovered anything, and we're in an unknown system. Bifafra. Refafra. Yeah, I know. Because I'm not. Shut up. You're all a very funny sarcastic little beasties, all of you. Aren't we all, though? That's why we all get along so well. Approximate location. Uh, let me go back to first person. I don't see any ships or anything like that. Could it just be over here? Or am I looking for a ship? There's literally nothing here. This can't be it. Scan. Something over there. Let's check it out. Nope, that's not it either. Alright, so let's land and take a look around like it suggests. Most toxic atmosphere. Ooh. Ah. Guess what? That's what we're after. Now what's over here? Oh, metal fingers? Yeah. What's the... Okay. The heck? What the heck? Is. Guess who? I approach the source of the signal. A hologram appears. It is Artemis, but there is only silence, the slow pulse of cosmic noise in the signal. I ask if they're alright. It's a gravestone, dude. If Artemis can hear me, they make no sign. The hologram just stares. It's strange, but I feel a sense of deja vu as if I've been here before, right at this very moment. I ask where they are. As I move closer, the Artemis projection begins to speak, their words punctuated by a strange static. They came, watched closely, machines, murderers, against the... The voice falls silent. The projection looks at me, something is very wrong. Scan the hologram. I scan the hologram, it bears the exact same signature as every other transmission I have received from Artemis. There is no ulterior source for the signal. Everything they have said appears to have come from right in front of me. As I stand here, Artemis begins to speak. Where are called them, but still beloved? Anomaly, they nod a polo, watching us, tracking. Mistake, abandoned, but it wasn't. Through the portal, please, don't trust. I'm afraid. Aren't comfort. The projection fizzles away to mere static. The echo is all that is left of the entity known as Artis, Artemis. A grave of glitched data trapped in a sunless reality. My friend is dead. Perhaps they were never alive. I must tell Apollo what I've seen. Okay, so there we go. Fate of Artemis. Artemis was dead all along. Or were they? Keeping in mind that we were trapped in that portal and visiting the Atlas for some time. So you'll find out soon.
Okay, so we're supposed to scan for the terminal. I'll do that. Okay, it's telling me it's over here, but before we do that... Um, well, let's tell Apollo first. I was going to go to the portal. Whoa, okay, where did it go? Okay, it says to summon the anomaly. Alright, we'll come back. Let's go ahead up here and summon the anomaly. Gives me another 150 Quicksilver, so I might as well do it. Then we'll go tell Apollo, and we'll wrap up this portion of the main storyline. Guys are going a little bit crazy there. Traveler entity has been some time. Polo has missed you. Explain the portal. I explain my journey through the portal, my vision of the strange world on the other side, how I awoke a long way from my ship. Nada looks at me with concern. Traveler, your journey was longer than you might realize. Portals have much in common with our home. Their travel is anomalous. But as but you are unharmed, yes? You feel complete? You feel not crimson? Confirm. Nada is pleased. Old portals are strange, but so is our home. Polo is clever. Atlas false entity cannot see us. Polo uses Atlas falsity against themselves. Ooh, so much time passed, huh? Right? There's 150 Quicksilver. How are you? Are you hungry? This is customary greeting for old friend, yes? I told Nada you would be fine, traveler friend. Poor Nada. They do not. They do get nervous. Ask about strange worlds. Once such places did not exist, could not be seen, but now, every second more appear. They seep through a new creation. I do not know where these worlds come from, what lies beyond our boundaries. I do not think I will ever know, but they are excited to see, yes, exciting to see. And that's it. So we know that time has passed. Alright, let's go hit up Paul Apollo real quick and finish this one out. So first things first, let's make sure our log is on the right spot. Here we go. Coming in for a landing. We do have a space station in this sector, so we can go ahead and go through that to get back to our base. Is that it? That's it right there. Oh, there's a sentinel pillar right in front of us. Look at that. All right, a few extra minutes. We'll check it out, I promise. Hold your horses. Nice to have a better jack uh, backpack now, right, jetpack? I love it. Warning, network compromise. Warning, manual override required. There are no signal matches for Artemis or Apollo. The terminal is a stream of warnings and errors. Perform a manual override. The warning messages cease. Some new frequency shimmers into being. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Guess who we're about to meet. Hello there. You are not alone. Tell me, what's the point in living if we know that life will finish? Ask who they are. You refuse to answer? That's answer enough, I suppose. I know you, traveler. I know where you've been. I know where you're going. What if I told you that Artemis could be saved? What if I told you that Artemis could live once more after a fashion? What would you do then, I wonder? Man to know who they are. I want to keep going with this. I haven't done it before. I am nothing. That's what null means, right? The blood of Artemis is data. The heart, it's glitch. I can help you retrieve them both. We require a mind arc, a receptacle for their soul. Can you do that for me? I am reactivating Artemis' frequency. Speak with them when you are ready. 
The stranger offers me blueprints for something they call a mind arc, a device they claim will allow me to restore Artemis to life. You know what? I'm going to see what happens when I refuse. I accept it every single time, and then I go through the dilemma of wanting to save Artemis or not save. Let's see what happens when we refuse. I refuse, uncertain of stranger's motives. They tell me to return when I'm ready. Alright, so you don't really have much of a choice. That tells me to speak to them anyway. First Traveler, they're called. You notice that. There are, they are in such pain, Traveler. The world of the dead is not empty. You must help them, one way or the other. The stranger offers me blueprints. Same thing as said before. We'll accept. I accept not knowing who the stranger is or how they possess such knowledge of my adventures, but if there is a chance that I can help Artemis, I'll take it. There it is. Now you notice this is still going, right? Wait. So there's Artemis, but here's what happens. Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? That's all it's doing. Artemis repeats these two words endlessly, unable to see my face or hear my voice. I must craft the mind arc before I can help them further. Looks like I got someone just landed. So, and that's it here. We got a trader down there. Let's check him out. Ah, uh, no idea what he says. He said the word rare in there. Lights flicker nervously around the carapace of the Corvax. Their starship remains active, primed for a quick escape. Let's, uh, more for the trade. Alright, so launch thrusters. I kind of would like something better. Uh, mining beam, I don't care. Scanner, I don't really worry about. Life support, we're good on. Hazard, no. Movement. I'll try it. We got plenty of nanites, so what do we got over here? Shield. Hyperdrive, we've good on. Pulse engine, we need those. You know what? Let me take two. Shield, starship shield, yeah, I'll take a look. Just at one. Infra knife, yeah, let's grab it. I'll grab more than one. I'm gonna grab all three. Excellent. Because hopefully we we'll grab a better one. Sell, what do we got to sell? I don't think we have anything. Oh, I didn't put my Mordite away. Leg meat. Got tons of leg meat. And feline livers. We'll go ahead and get rid of those. So I don't need them. Okay. Yeah, that'll be good for now. Alright, that was a good trade, I think, personally. Alright, so we have a planet full of creatures, first of all. Um, I don't know how many... See what it says. Two of ten. Okay, so I need a living pearl. I do have water nearby, don't I? Yeah. We... Ooh. Easily enraged. And it's one of the dinosaur style creatures. Those are what I'm looking for. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Hello. Hi. How you doing? You want some food? Yeah, he looks pretty good. An attack mouse. There we go. And we'll talk to him later. So we know we need toxic planets. Um, that was just really creepy looking. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and un... Or dismiss him. We don't need him for now. Because I want an egg from him. We're going to make a really... All right, turn around, take a look. Four twenty-five, four oh five. Yeah, we got got one of those sentinel places over there. So we found five. Anybody else? Oh, is this a place where they're underwater? Hold on. I mean, uh, underground too. Ground. Oh, and then all the rest are underwater. And one's extinct? I gotta find an extinct animal? What the fudge? Did I already find it? It just said I found five animals, and I've only... F and then over there it says four. That's weird. Did I find the extinct one? 
We need a living pearl. So good thing uh, we have some water here. Hey, hi there. Here we go. While we're here... bunch over there. That's weird. Okay. Oh, there's a fourth one now. If I can get it to to look at them. There it is. Got it. Alright. So, over here. Eight of ten. Okay, so you got one ground and one underground, and an extinct one. Technology recharge. Technology recharge. Oh, okay, good. All right, so where to? Um, ship is over there. What did it tell us to build here? I don't know. Hold on. Log. Soul engine. Right. So the soul engine... We got a mind arc, right? So we need a soul engine first. Okay. We need 120 cadmium. Okay. I know we've got cadmium back the way we came. Alright. Back at our base. We may have to actually hit our base first. So I think as we create this back at our base, we will go ahead and call it. Oh, I would love, absolutely adore... Those are some huge worms. I would actually adore um, getting this whole storyline completed, but what the world is that? Oh, okay. I know what ship that is. Just didn't recognize it at first. Cool. All right. We have one more ground-based creature to find, and one underground creature to find. So I may do that while I'm here. So what we're going to do, we're going to hold off doing the Mind Arc. I think we're going to call it quits here right now. Okay, is that the ground-based or the underground-based? Let's find out. Yeah, it was a ground base, so we need the underground. So it's interesting, you can find a possible extinct animal on this planet. That is really, really neat. I don't know how we'd find it, but that's pretty cool. Alright, we're back. Alright, so we're going to be ch checking things out on this planet here in a little bit. And then I'm going to save it. And we're going to call it quits right now for this episode. I want to thank you all for watching. Again, please hit that like button. It really helps the channel out a lot. Please hit subscribe if you would, if you have been liking what you've been seeing. Really appreciate seeing you all here. Thank you very much for joining me. See you in the next episode. Take care, everybody.